Lagoons are a big addition to the options we have for our parks in Jurassic World Evolution 2, so in this short video we wanted to take a closer look at them. The main thing to note throughout this is that a lagoon makes a gorgeous centrepiece to any park in Evolution 2, with background elements and decoration helping to set these up as integral parts of any layout. To place down a lagoon, you simply select it from the enclosures tab, much like you would fencing. The lagoons are set to a specific radius, but multiple lagoons can be connected and interwoven, allowing you to create much more elaborate structures. Lagoons need to feature a hatchery in order to release aquatic creatures into their depths, and these hatcheries bear a striking resemblance to the lagoon gate we see in Fallen Kingdom. There is some really nice visual design here, I really like it. The other important element to note is your viewing areas, which will allow your visitors to see your aquatic animals. These can be submerged manually, like we see in the film with Zack and Grey going underwater, and although you can't connect these as smoothly as I perhaps would like, they certainly evoke the Jurassic World appearance. Finishing touches come in the form of either a fish feeder, dispensing live fish for smaller creatures like the Plesiosaurus or Atomborosaurus, or in the form of a shark feeder, for those show-stopping moments like the one which we saw in Jurassic World. That's really it for our closer look at the lagoons, they are an awesome addition to the game and something which we know fans have been clamouring for for a long time. We really hope you enjoy having the chance to get hands on with them in Jurassic World Evolution 2 when it releases, and we hope that they make a splash with your park guests.